Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detailed Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. I've been wanting to get to this kind of review for a while now, and I'm excited to finally have a conversation with you about the luxury brand I'm in which has some of the most cleanest burning candles I've experienced with this biodegradable mushroom packaging. I discovered this brand when I was in Neiman Marcus a few months ago. I promise I wasn't looking for candles, they just sort of ended up under my nose. If I happen to see a candle while I'm out, I'll always give it a quick sniff. There was something about these Amani candles that stuck with me. I didn't know anything about the brand at the time, but when I smelled the candles, I knew they were special. I didn't buy any at the time, no matter how pushy the salesperson was. I was in a rush, so I had to pass on them. Turns out this brand is extraordinary in terms of brand identity, sustainability, and of course, great sense. Which are the three main traits I look for when I'm looking into purchasing candles from a new brand I've never experienced before? A man takes the whole sustainable aspect to a new level. Oh, it gets deep. It's this idea of starting with how we are on the inside, with how we treat ourselves essentially. It's the idea of being naturally aligned with nature that'll ultimately help us make better sustainable decisions for ourselves and the space around us. The founder Rodrigo Garcia Alvarez describes Armand as the affirmation of our purest intentions. If you're into the chakras of the body, that's what this particular collection is based around. Seven cents, one for each of the chakras, sort of like aromatherapy. Imagine walking into a luxury spa or a yoga studio, you know, with that open, airy, clean feeling that engulfs you and you instantly get an uplifted feeling. Now, I don't know much about chakras, but I do know there is some sort of correlation between having them aligned and the energy that you put out. You know when you get around someone and you can feel that they have a good spirit. You don't know what it is. You just love being in their presence or vice versa. You can get around someone and feel the need to leave that space immediately. The main thing that caught my attention with our man was seeing the CO2 negative and biodegradable mushroom packaging. It's something I've never seen before. I don't know about you, but I find the use of this sustainable material remarkable. The packaging was also part of an art exhibition featured in Dover Street Puff Farms in Paris. And the candles are actually handmade in grass, France, which is considered the capital of the fragrance world. It's where jasmine and rose are sourced for the iconic Chanel No. 5 perfume. The family that hand makes these candles are based in the south of France and follows the highest ethical standards in regards to the social impact of the environment. I told you it gets deep and it doesn't stop there. But wait, there's more. The porcelain candle vessels are handmade in Limoges. They're sourced to reduce carbon emissions. The minimal aesthetic of these vessels will look amazing in a minimal styled home, maybe a Japandi styled space. A man has a very minimal approach to the style of the brand, very clean and white from the website to the vessels. It definitely helps further the impact of the sustainable focus. And of course, the wax is vegetable. You all know how I feel about good waxes. Even the lids are hit brut wood that's certified with the PEFC from friends. The program for the endorsement of forest certification. Rodrigo's goal for our man is to provide the most sustainable product possible, as he describes as ASAP, as sustainable as possible. These candles are for the person who's looking for a brand with a focus around providing the most cleanest burning and sustainable candles. Our man leads by example when it comes to being an effective sustainable brand. Keyword effective. There are brands out here that claim to be sustainable, but they're cutting some corners in the process. Sort of like legal loopholes with how they word things. Here's where it gets a little rocky for Aman candles. It has to do with the size, price, and performance because of the size. Okay, hear me out. This is important to help save you a lot of money on these candles. The size of this candle is roughly seven ounces. Okay, it's on the smaller side of the spectrum and it retails between 90 and $100. Now, in my honest opinion, the size is not worth it in that price range since there are so many other great sustainable brand options at half that price for more candle and better performance. Here's where it gets better. You wanna to go to either Farfetch or Essence because they often have sales on so many high-end luxury candles, including Aman. I've seen them for as low as 50% off at times. At this moment, I think Aman candles are on sale for $40 on Essence. That's where I got mine from. Now that's more of a price I see as worth it. These candles sometimes sell out on the Aman website, but why pay full price when you don't have to? If I can help someone out with better pricing, I have to say something. Aman is an extraordinarily clean luxury brand. I just Wish their candles were a little bigger. There is this incredible luminous bean collection with these quite fascinating handmade sculpture candles. Now those are on another level. To have one of those sitting on a coffee table as a centerpiece would be the topic of conversation when guests are over. As for the scents I chose, I went for Chakra 6, which is the amazing scent of jasmine. I think I'm becoming obsessed with jasmine. It's the perfect blend of sweet and musk. At least that's what my nose picks up. Maybe becoming my number one favorite scent. 
I mean, you do have to enjoy Jasmine to get the most from this, but it's not a potent, strong Jasmine, as you may be thinking. It's subtle. There's not an olfactory pyramid of notes like you would normally find with candles. The focus is around one note per candle. Going back to the chakras, the intention for having individual notes per candle is to provide the best experience for that chakra. I won't go too deep into the chakras since I only have minimal understanding of them. If you study them, let me know more about them in the comments. I would really like to know how each scent correlates with each chakra. But it's stated that this jasmine scent is for the third eye. It also says it on the back of the vessel. It's to heighten your consciousness and expand your overall awareness. The performance of the cold throw is very subtle. You have to sit really close by to smell it on cold. The hot throw is where it comes to life. After about an hour of burning, the scent of sweet jasmine can fill a medium sized room with no problem. It may fall short in a large room only because of its size. The size of a candle is one factor that can greatly affect how it can perform. This would be great for a small yoga room or a medium sized living room. It doesn't take long for the top layer of wax to pull out. I've noticed a little over two hours and it's done. Overall, I love the experience of burning jasmine, so I thoroughly enjoy this candle. The second scent I picked up is Chakra 1, which has the subtle smell of warm vetiver. You really have to like that warm, dry smell of vetiver to really enjoy this. I've never experienced pure vetiver as a standalone note in a candle, and I have to say, I found it to be a very calming and relaxing note. I was expecting an over really dry vetiver with a bit of smokiness like I usually find in other scents. I was pleasantly surprised with this version of vetiver. It stays perfectly within the cleanliness that our man provides with their scents without overdoing it. I guess that's a plus. Even though these candles have one note to them, they aren't too strong for the space. I know Jasmine can get out of hand very quickly, but it's impressive with how they can tame it and keep it so subtle. For this vetiver scent, it's said to be linked to the calming, grounding, and strengthening of the root chakra. Maybe have this burning at night before winding down before bed when you want some something calming that isn't too strong. The cold throw from this vetiver has about the same performance as Jasmine. The hot throw, it's stronger in my opinion, but I would still consider it subtle because the scent is so calming and the size of the vessel. It's a scent that isn't trying to be the strongest in your collection. It has its place as something you reach for when you want a clean, warm, and woody candle. Like I said, it makes for a perfect late evening scent going into the night hours. This is great for a medium sized bedroom or living room. Anything larger or an open concept will be too big of a space. A man is extraordinary because of their ethical efforts to provide the best sustainable home fragrances available. My preference are brand brands with clean waxes, which is an entire conversation within itself. If I get enough demand for a brand that uses, let's say, soy and paraffin, I'll have no problem reviewing them. But overall, you'll mostly find me enjoying brands with the cleanest waxes. Now, the question is, are our man candles worth it? Well, for what they are and what the brand stands for, 100% yes, no question about it. But because of the size, price, and performance, I strongly recommend buying them on sale if you can. And if you know anything about the chakras, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about it. Well, that's going to be it for today's conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.